Hello and welcome back to YCS Melbourne 2018. I'm here with Lockie Potter still, and we are here in the top eight. We have eight mm. duelists remaining. Um, we have uh, the deck breakdown, the meta breakdown to show you very soon. Um, but I can tell you it is six spirals and two trick stars. Wow. So two trick stars making it all the way. Uh, unfortunately, our dino player we saw was eliminated last round. Yeah, unfortunately for him. Yeah. But although we are here in lovely Australia, we have two players facing each other from completely different ends of the world. We have Jake Quincy from the UK versus Ryan Levine from the US. Should be an exciting matchup. Yeah. So these guys, both of them probably fighting for their for their continent, in fact, <laughs> to, uh, to potentially take the win here. And they've unfortunately been put against each other. So they're, you know, they're not going to be able to both take it home or both get to the finals. This is going to be them taken out. So here's the top eight bracket. So we can see Jake Quincy and Ryan Levine on the bottom left, both playing Spiral. Yeah. Both of these guys are playing the Ghost Trick Jack Frost tech that we've been seeing <laughs> over the course of this weekend. I'm sure Ghost Trick Jack Frost has risen in price by at least five cents over the weekend. <laughs> so it's doubled. Doubled. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> so uh, yeah, we can see, you know, if your friends are there, Matthew Cassiero we saw in our feature match last round going to be going against Ryan Nelson now and our final uh, trick star player is in the top left AJ Clotty versus Marky but let's not talk about that any further let's get into our top eight feature match and see the battle of the continents play out right in front of our eyes Here we go. So we have, this is the first time we've had different flags. Yeah. So the UK versus the US. Nice bit of sportsmanship there. Both, both our players playing the spiral deck and actually identical deck lists. Yeah, 100% card for card identical. However, Ryan Levine was able to fit all of them onto a single deck list, <laughs> whereas Jake, for some reason, failed to do that. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> uh, yeah. Putting got an ingressu on two different lines. Well, I want to make is. sure the whole name was written out. There you go. Yeah. Well, right, Ryan Levine, that bit in just a, a very small box. So, yeah. Uh, so written, Jay yeah. Quincy is starting in our game one. Yeah. Please uh, post in chat who do you want to see win, the UK or the US? So we can see uh, Jake's opening hand here has actually opened Master Plan. So the James Bond from the UK. Yeah. <laughs> the ultimate spy, the gentleman spy. And Ryan Levine opened pretty good actually. Double resort, or well, one of them being a terrible one, and the double resort, drone, tough and rescue. Let's see what Jake can do here. He can at least get that master plan out, if he wishes. Yeah, here we master go. Master plan the field. I'm gonna add that resort. Let's see what he chooses with it. Yeah, I think Jake's got. I was going to go rescue. Oh, no. oh. first effect. Yeah, and he's going to use resort next. Not the most optimal of going first or going second hands. In fact, neither of these guys opened very well in terms of going second. Neither of them had any hand traps. No. Surprising for both of them playing the go second build. Yeah, absolutely. Here's resort. Can we get drone? There's a drone. We're gonna have a look and see what Ryan has on top of his deck. Yeah, man, there it is. Drone comes into play. Jake rolling up his sleeves, are ready to have a look. But evenly matched, tough, and but another evenly matched. Couldn't, can't quite see it. open choice here and one. he's decided to give him the tough Ryan already having a tough and a drone in his hand one of them is going to have to be his normal summon yeah 
at least he does have a couple monsters, but with all that, Jake has got many more plays to be made. And there is our double helix. Yep, gonna search for Master Plan first. first. His Master Plan is already used. Yeah, he's, but he gets Master Plan's effect when he gets oh, sent to the grave. Of course. Maybe thinking against Ooh. the sleeper. Yeah, trying to decide if I want to go for it. Yeah. We've got a second resort. Yeah, yep. going for the he's going to go for the sleeper. So he's going to be able to get that combo going. I think. No, he's going to struggle because he's going to need another another monster, which he's, he can get here. Now, did Jake open any hand traps in his hand? Nope, nothing. Neither no, player. no, neither player hand, any hand traps. We haven't seen any drawing either, so neither of these players can possibly draw hand traps. So he's got the last resort here for his sleeper. Probably looking at using that sleeper to get rid of the resort when Ryan Levine plays it. Unfortunately for Jake, Ryan does have a second chance at that with a terraforming in his hand. So we'll see what Jake chooses to do when that comes up. Deco Talker now on the field. Yep, so that means he's got enough monsters now for Sleeper. So I think he's probably going to go at last resort here and stick with the Sleeper last resort combo. Plays his second resort there. Adding possibly Super Agent? I think last last resort. I think he's already added the last resort. Oh, did he add last so resort already? Sorry. There's a Super Agent? Yeah. Yeah, I didn't, I didn't see him add last resort already. I believe he added it off his first resort. Right. It's last resort off his first resort. <laughs> it's hard to tell. I've got, I can't, can't see the hands as I usually do. Usually. Yeah, here we go. So you know he's monster, the tough. Yeah. Yeah, so we can go even further now with yeah. that super agent. We can get back to the quick fix there by discarding. Go, quick fix. Probably going to add big red. Most likely. Ryan Levine patiently, patiently waiting. What do you think of Ryan Ryan's possible win? You know, to, like what's what's gonna what's gonna do with this opening hand? Unfortunately for Ryan, he's gonna be starting with a hand. All three monsters in it need the normal summon. He does have, of course, access with his field cards. But we can assume that one of the resorts will be shut down with the effect of sleep up if he chooses to pull the trigger that early. So we assume off the second resort that he's going to want to add the drone, use that, oh, sorry, you add the super agent, normal the drone, find out what is on top of Jake's deck, special out the agent and go into Helix from there and hopefully extend his board. Yeah, he's continuing on here. He can just continue to get this quick fix back over and over again. Jake's still with that sleeper in hand, ready to summon when he likes. Yeah, I think we're definitely going to see sleeper last resort at some point, but it's a matter of, you know, what uh, what other link monsters is Jake going to decide to end with here. Jake just weighing up his options now. Ib, I'm assuming. Yep, Ib. 
Yeah, it's gonna add that extra layer of protection. Why not? Alright. Maybe Optimus go a different way instead. Appears he's about to summon. What's he got planned? The, yeah, yeah, that's good. He already he already showed the intent to to link someone here, so you gotta. Looks like here he's choosing. Now he's adding back. Uh, yeah, I'd, super I'd, agent I'd... to hand. Yeah. Mm. And then rescue. Yeah. More yet again, so bring yeah. back the helix. Yeah, wow, we may actually see Try Get Wizard for the first ever time. Is yeah, he playing Try Get Wizard? I... No, they're not playing Try Get Wizard. It looks like he's setting up for that, but <laughs> no, he's not. Probably, <laughs> he might. Oh, maybe just a big firewall dragon. Could be, could be. Firewall dragon. Firewall dragon. Yeah, double. It's double tooling. Wow, this is a great board. And I think here we're going to finally see the sleeper and the yeah. last resort. Onto the left hand side of Ib. Wow, good opening play by Jake. Oh, what a, yeah, understatement, Lockie. <laughs> good, good opening for, play. For the go second spiral bill. Yeah. His go first certainly isn't too bad. No, that was <laughs> phenomenal. Ryan Levine is has been terribly patient while while staring this down. He's got to deal with Sleeper. He's got to deal with Firewall Dragon. Ib as well is protecting those. Wow, this is pretty special. I don't think there's a there's a break that board for no, this. I don't think. Not not, in not this. with what Ryan Levine's holding. I don't think. No, absolutely not. Okay, shuffling tough back into the deck. Just keep that resort on board. And we'll be seeing Ryan Levine for the first time in this matchup. I think he may, he may call it a day very quickly. <laughs> may think that's a big board. We might move to game two, but we'll find out what he chooses to do. Yeah. I mean, he can play through some of this, but I don't think it's going to... I mean, <laughs> Jake is motioning here to say, there's there's not much you can do, come on. <laughs> Look at my board, I am the superior spy. Yeah. <laughs> with dragons, with dragons and fairies, <laughs> yeah, superior spy. <laughs> Some of the stuff that we don't know about that all the spies do. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> there's the resort, he's gonna play that. Adam, gonna, uh, <laughs> uh, Jake are gonna let that go through. There's just one guy in chat who's convinced that Ryan can win. Let's see. Let's see. I mean, you know, Maybe it's not impossible. Cosmic Cyclone followed by Regeki would be, you know, <laughs> certainly if you could get to that. Yeah. Actually, no. But doesn't Resort protect, protect Last Resort as well? Because it's also with Spiral Cards. I can't remember. Yeah, that's just yeah, crazy. Yeah, clear the board minus the sleep probably. Yeah. If even, you get even, to even then, you got Ib effect. <laughs> So yeah, we added the super agent like we thought. We're gonna see the drone come out here. Yeah. Or is it one of those situations where you just absolutely have to guess with super agent because you can't afford the normal summon? I think no, it's he's, he's doing the tough. It's well, the tough will reveal the top card at least for him, of course. Mm -hmm. That's if he decides. So he's gonna pop the resort. No, well, Calls there it goes right. The resort. Calls monster. And hits now last does resort. he pull the trigger on firewall? Um, yeah, I, oh, this is getting a little sketchy. Yeah. <laughs> that sleeper's just had two layers of its three layers of and protection there's removed. Helix. Ryan Levine, able to get rid of both 
resort and last resort. Yeah, Jake has just still got the firewall dragon here. So maybe, maybe Javier on Twitch is right. Maybe Ryan Levine could turn around from this point. Yeah, absolutely. What a strong board, but Ryan still did it. So no cards in his hand he can summon though. Yeah, as long as as long as Ryan's able to stick to uh, stick to just spiral monsters, he's not going to get affected by that firewall yeah, dragon. Surely not. Ops for the deco. What an amazing, what an amazing comeback. Yeah. Well, not comeback yet. He's still, you know, Jake still has superior board in, in control. In the process of coming back. Yeah. Plays the other resort. Adds last resort. <clears throat> We can just get something down in that spot underneath the deco talker to yeah. attack her. Absolutely. The firewall is live though on the deco talker, is it not? Yeah, it is. That's a sleeper out for Ryan Levine as well. He does yep. have that last resort in his hand. <laughs> so we've had, this could be a big turnaround. Yeah, I feel like this is getting away from Jake here. Does he maybe have to pull the trigger now on this Firewall Dragon? I think so. Get rid of that decode. Yeah. Yeah, point, he's pointed to Flywell, I believe. Yeah, he's going to send the decode back. He could also um, get rid of his own sleeper to prevent it from destroying his own board. <laughs> True. That would be pretty cool. Seeing what he opts for. Yeah. Because it is co-linked to two, isn't it? Yeah, so he's got two monsters, so he can get rid of his opponent's decode talker and his own sleeper. This is prob probably the most important decision that Jake will make during this game. If not all day. <laughs> yeah. Deep in contemplation. His trip to the top four could come down to the choice he makes right here. Yeah, absolutely. Jake is actually Jake is actually known quite well in Europe for making the top cut very frequently, but he's been struggling just to get that last that those last few the rounds last in. Window. Yeah, he he like consistently. I mean, like every single YCS like top eight, top sixteen, that's still yet to make it to the top four. And it appears Jake has only sent the deco talker back and left his sleeper on board. He's added back his own last resort. So he did use the, he did, you know, obviously use the extra bit to get the last result. There's clearly a fly in front of Ryan there, just dealing with that. <laughs> he has the last resort on the sleeper. Yeah. I think Jake is slowly realizing. That he's about to say goodbye to his board. Yeah, very quickly. That's a scary sleeper agent. What recovery has Jake got left in his hand after this? Not a lot. He's 
got the last resort he added back, and I think only one other card plus whatever he draws for the turn. Yeah, I don't think it's much use. I think it's a. Uh, so we saw it before, didn't we? we... I think it's just from Random Spiral as well. Oh, so it's Rescue. We got Rescue last resort. Man. Jake's actually not playing Trigate Wizards, I don't think. Somebody in chat just suggested that. No, he's, he's not playing. He's not playing Trigate Wizards. To be fair to these guys, Jake is Jake is playing the go second spiral build and he was made to go first. So, you know, I think even though we saw no hand traps, Ryan Levine was able to take, you know, take this because he got to go second. Not, that's not the only reason, but certainly it was a factor. Tough drone and Maxi in the hand of Ryan Levine. Attacking into the sleeper. Yeah, so I think Jake is uh, just having a quick look at Ib here to understand exactly uh, what he can do to potentially prevent that disruption. But there we go. Wow, that board that looked pretty unstoppable. Yeah. There was like four layers of protection on, on Jake's sleeper agent. And we, <laughs> so it looks like a few that said Ryan was going to turn it around. Yeah. He was right, so he, he broke the board. Yeah, made an absolute <clears throat> slice through that defense of Jake. Ryan Levine looking fantastic here. Quite worrying. One of our one of our viewers believes that I'm Australian. Yeah, Say Melbourne, know. then show me wrong. Yeah, Melbourne. There you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's Melbourne. It's Melbourne. Melbourne. It's Melbourne, mate. <laughs> oh dear. So, can Jake recover here? He's got to deal with quite a lot of stuff. Staring down that deadly sleeper as well. Yeah, I've got a feeling that Jake's resources are just so limited here. And that winter cherries certainly wasn't what he wanted. No. Sets one in the background, passes to Ryan. Yeah, I feel very much, you know, that Ryan was able to just relax and make the plays here and now Assault for the first time we're seeing it actually being used by, you know, for its proper intended <laughs> use of destroying things and getting to draw cards. It's certainly the first time this YCS on our stream. Yeah. So uh, Ryan is just so much right now. He, yep. he <laughs> drops the drone and Jake's like, yep. Yeah, call we'll it move a day. To game too. Wow, so yeah. taking a strong opening from Jake, but Ryan Levine turning it around. Yeah, absolutely. That's phenomenal. Okay, <laughs> so look at these extra decks. So Jake's these side decks, I should say. Jake's certainly gonna you know, have a think about what's going on here. Do we see the Jack Frost coming? I think so. <laughs> I think it's gotta. Maybe a gentleman's agreement, they'll both side it in. <laughs> Or out, <laughs> depending on how they felt about it throughout the tournament. There's always a, a bunch of great cards that are good in theory, but... Not always in practice. Not always in practice, exactly. So both players, side decks as well, completely identical, both playing three Chaos Hunter, two Jack Frost, two Magical Springs, three Twin Twisters, one Bottomless Trap Hole, one evenly matched, and three floodgate trap holes, a card we're seeing quite a lot of in this top 32. Yeah, floodgate trap hole is fantastic. Ryan Levine with a bit of a peek at the overhead camera. 
not it's not the best one I've seen. We had we had one at uh, European YCS where um, we had uh, it was a young kid who was in the Dragon Duel and he's you know over the years grown up and he went right into the camera and was like this <laughs> while playing. I have to show up yours at home. <laughs> what exactly that was? No. We can't, no. Go back. Go back and look at <laughs> trips through the coverage. It was uh, Zoltan. Um, Great name. Zoltan Klonix, I think his name is. Zoltan Klonix. He's from, I believe it's Germany. I believe it's Germany. Robert, our, our director here, who also commentates on the live stream, uh, kind of looked at me when he heard that on the live stream and just went, mm, maybe. <laughs> As a response about Sultan. Yeah, I honestly can't remember his last name correctly. I'm sure if they go through the archives, they'll find it eventually. Oh, yeah. Yeah, well, if they want to see it that bad, they'll look for it. <laughs> definitely calls all time. Um, so Ryan Levine here opened the Jack Cross. So we did see it come in. There we are. Yeah. And uh, bottomless as well, I think. Yeah, well. So we've got some word here that Jake did ask how long was left in the round and chose to concede to move ahead so he would not get stuck in this draw situation or sudden death situation. Yeah, there's no draws here. We're in single elimination now. Yep. Um, so yeah, Ryan Levine's hand is Ghost Reaper and Winter Cherries, Ghost Straight Jack Frost, Burial Goods, Last Resort and Bottomless. I love Bottomless. It's a great card, but I don't think we see enough of it. Jake's hand is uh, mostly illegible, but I think it's Foolish Frail Goods, Quick Fix, second copy of Foolish Frail Goods, Gofu Reinforcement for the Army. And he has opened with that Gofu. Yep. Going into that one card, Deco Talker, we assume. Yep. Proxy Dragon's out. He may end up seeing this Jack Frost actually do actually, what it's supposed yeah. to do. That would be phenomenal. For those of you who don't know, we were we were pretty hyped about this Jack Frost tech because, you know, ghost strikes, they're adorable. And uh, yeah, it's actually pretty, um, it's got, you know, some pretty good theory behind it. Yeah, in the, the Trickstar matchup. Unfortunately, I haven't been able to see that in the Yeah, uh, in the Trickstar matchup and, and in this matchup where you can, uh, you know, flip down your opponent's sleeper when it attacks, and then, you know, they just can't do anything. Attack over it on the next turn, and yeah. bye bye, board. Jake now activating his rotor. Reinforcements of the army. Adding Super Agent to hand. I think that's one of the oldest cards, like, that, I, that has been played throughout time in new gear seems to always have a have a use in yeah this meta. yeah especially in the, kind of the history of Yu Gi Oh. there's so many great warriors like armageddon knight for example is one that we, we brought up yesterday bombless <laughs> there it is the bottomless we spoke of and yeah goodbye there's super a, agent another very old card actually yeah. even before reinforcements of the army if i remember correctly i think bombless was great first See if we can find out before the end of this broadcast. I'm sure someone's going to correct me because I'm actually yeah. starting to think that it probably wasn't Trap Bowl was first and then reinforcements for the army and then. Well, if you got the answer on Twitch, someone tell give us. Give us a shout someone and tell us. let us know. I'll send us out on a postcard. First release in LOD reinforcements, very sure reinforcements was, uh, I've got a feeling it was after bottomless, but I'm not 100% sure. So we see the Winter Cherries come down for Ryan Levine here. Jake's now looking pretty behind in this game, unfortunately. 
However, Ryan Levine can be attacked this turn because he pretty much passed his first turn with just a bottomless set. And there you go, both of them actually first released in Legacy of Darkness. Oh really? Yeah. Oh, okay. There we go. Bottomless Trap Hole is a rare, and Reinforcements of the Army is a super rare. That is obviously why I was having so much trouble remembering which way around it was, because they were from I mean, the same set. I suppose you learned it wrong or right. <laughs> yeah. I don't know where this rule came from that, that, that casters have to be uh, unbiased the whole time. Can someone, can someone link me to that? Where, where's, where's that from? <laughs> What's that all about? Because to be honest, the reason I said unfortunately just now is because I want Jay to win this next game. Do you know why? Because I want us to, to see a game three. Yeah. The more you Nothing to do with him being from your home country. Yeah. I am <laughs> I am biased for the greatness of Yu-Gi-Oh, not necessarily for the, for the United the Kingdom. Yeah. <laughs> And he's happy to attack with Link Spider, Proxy Dragon, and Princess Sprite there. Yeah, well, his combo got pretty much locked down, but... Yeah. Surprise the he's bottomless not and the cherry. I'm surprised he's not going to at least go Deco Talker. Or was it double check? No, it wasn't double check. Both players looking rather stoic. At the moment. The judge is watching intently. Yeah. He's opted for the Barlow Dragon. Ryan Levine with that Jack Frost in hand. That would be super good. <laughs> Actually, Barlow's unaffected by monster effects, so I don't think that would work on him. Oh. A lot of damage. Does Ryan have a chance to get to his own Barlow Dragon? Yeah. <laughs> that could be the play we might see him aim for. Jake does have one card set. Do we have confirmation on what Jake's set card is? No, I don't think so. I do know though, the last time we saw a barrel Barlow, <laughs> Barlow pass, Barlow. it was a... Uh, <clears throat> it went pretty downhill for that yeah. player. So... The Barlow's very quickly changed his and he's just choosing to set the old the T set. Yeah, the old, old T set and pass. <laughs> so rescue. This is actually, yeah, I was going to say this is actually <laughs> really big. Wow. <laughs> yeah. So and we are get, you're getting your game three that you wish for. For the best of Yu-Gi-Oh. For the, the betterment of the stream. Ryan obviously conceding there, knowing <laughs> what was coming on Jake's turn. Yep. So... Both players very aware of the time and wanting to get into this third matches.